Products in this video were provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. Hey guys, this is your friend Iggy back again. So I'm going to go ahead and flash the EVGA Z390 dark motherboard. So in order to do that, we'll just go over here on EVGA's website, EVGA.com, click services, drivers and BIOS, then we'll choose motherboard. We'll select our motherboard, which is the Intel Z390, or the family, should I say. Then we'll select the part number, which is the, right here, the Z390 dark. Type, we'll choose BIOS, OS, Windows 10, and then we'll click Submit. Okay, we'll see this BIOS just came out. Well, not just, but last month so we'll go ahead and download that and we'll go ahead and save that okay and then just go ahead open the containing folder we'll grab this that we just downloaded and we'll put it on a thumb drive Okay, so now we'll go to the thumb drive. There's one from within Windows and one from in DOS. The bin file, which is the BIOS file, then update. So we'll just right click on update, run as administrator. Now we don't really need to do the run as administrator part, but I'll do it just because. And now I'll go ahead and press Y on the keyboard to program the BIOS. Okay, now before I started flashing the BIOS, I saved all of my BIOS profiles and the best way to do that is if you have any BIOS profiles, go ahead, you know, load the one you want and then from within the BIOS, all you need to do is hit F12 and that, that takes screenshots. So you can take screenshots of all of your settings and if you have different BIOS profiles, just take screenshots of the, load them, take screenshots, load the next one, take screenshots and so on and it works really well because then you have at least something that you can go off of in case you have any overclocking settings or anything along those lines. This should only take a few seconds and it's great that you can either do it from DOS, from a, from a, a, a DOS boot disk, uh, a th typically nowadays a thumb drive, or you can do it straight from Windows. Straight from Windows, always the best way, just make sure you have any antivirus or anything like that off because it could of course interrupt with this flashing the bios is the last thing you want to interrupt because of course you could damage your motherboard must be a, a big update i don't remember it ever taking this long all right so we're good here now to finish the update, press any key for a restart. Now this is gonna go ahead and restart my system. All right, and don't freak out when you flash your BIOS and it reboots a bunch of times when you restart your computer, that's normal. Okay, so now we're just entering the BIOS so I can show you what it looks like. CPU, yeah, that's so that's normal. A lot has changed. So now we're gonna go ahead, click yes to enter the BIOS. In case you guys haven't seen it, this is EVGA's BIOS. It looks so slick and sweet. Of course, you can use your keyboard or you can use your mouse. So we go into advanced configuration. Okay, and then here we can see all the different settings for your CPU. Come over to memory then we can see all the BIOS settings for your memory, of course. Since I am using the Patriot RGB 3200 megahertz RAM, which does have an XMP profile, I'll set that, which setting the XMP profile sets all your memory timings. Works great. Okay, and then, you know, you can just come in here, set up all your other settings, for right now, I'm just going to enable that. 
later on I will be disabling it, but just setting all my settings. Now it's set to eight because I do have a device in the other PCIe. If I didn't, it would be by 16. set to HCI this guy I'll go ahead and delete or disable sorry okay now since I do have m.2 drives in here I am gonna save it then come back in the BIOS and set my Windows boot manager it should it's probably not correct right now Oh, look at that. It is enabled, so my Western Digital SN750 one terabyte, super fast drive. And then at this point, just come in, save my settings. This is telling me everything that's changed. Now I'm not gonna have to boot back into the BIOS because that uh, M.2 SSD was already there, the NVMe drive. So yes, to save and exit. Okay, so now that we're back in, we'll just load up CPU-Z. Okay, and then we can come over here to mainboard and we can see that we are on BIOS version 1.0.4. Anyway, this is Iggy again, just giving you a quick tutorial on how to flash the EVGA Z390 dark motherboard. Iggy out, see you guys. Products in this video were provided to the author to do review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone.